All right, guys, do you see this lower chest line right here? Now, most of you guys are training your chest, but you're not actually recruiting these lower chest muscle fibers. You might be doing some bench press, you might be doing some incline bench, but to actually sculpt and get this lower chest line is gonna require a different type of training. So I'm gonna show you in today's video the three best lower chest exercises. They're going to recruit these stubborn lower chest fibers that actually run a different direction than the middle and upper chest fibers. These lower chest fibers run down and I'm gonna show you what I truly believe are the three best lower chest exercises for recruiting these stubborn fibers. So let's get into this first lower chest exercise. And if you guys love chest day, I have some good news because every single Monday for the next month, we're gonna have a chest training video on the channel. So vote down below next Monday. Do you wanna see me going through Arnold Schwarzenegger's go-to chest workout or do you wanna see a full balloon method chest workout hitting every single section? Vote down below. And let's get into this first chest exercise. Now, I did this with Charles Glass uh, two days ago. And if you do this exercise correctly, it's probably the only lower chest exercise you need. But the problem is most of you guys are not doing this correctly. So I wanna show you guys a dip. Now, most of you guys are doing this. Your chest is up, your body's more upright, and you're locking up right here. Now, nothing wrong with this. This is, of course, a great exercise right here. But the problem is, when we're in this position, we're hitting a ton of triceps. Now, I wanna help you guys switch the activation from your triceps to your lower chest on this movement. So, all you have to do is you have to stay in the tension plane. So you're gonna lean forward, and you're not gonna lock up all the way. So, you're gonna stay down, you're gonna put your chest down, try to keep your center vision straight. You're gonna stay right here in this tension plane. Right here in this tension plane. So, by doing that, by arching down more and not locking out at the top, we're putting a ton more activation right here on the lower chest. Now, if you wanna get the maximum amount of gains from this exercise, of course you can do a weighted dip, do that exact same form I just showed you, and what you can do is you pick a weight where you're your, your absolute max in the eight to 10 rep range, then you're going to take that weight off when you're at failure, you're gonna pop out as many reps as you can doing body weight only. So. Weighted dips with the right form, incredible exercise to really activate these lower chest fibers. And before we get into the last two lower chest exercises, I just wanna congratulate last video's giveaway winner. He won a superhuman training program of his choice. He will be making all kinds of gains with the balloon method. And to enter today's giveaway, all you have to do is comment down below, superhuman squad, and tap that notification bell next to subscribe. And I'm gonna pick one person within the first three hours of uploading to win a balloon method training program of your choice. So comment down below, superhuman squad. You definitely don't wanna miss the video I'm uploading on Wednesday. So regardless, tap that bell because I'm gonna be showing you my results of training legs every single day for 30 days video. Very highly anticipated, but let's continue on with lower chest. Now, this exercise, when done correctly, will light up your lower chest. It runs perfectly with those lower chest muscle fibers. And I'm gonna show you two different variations of able chest fly, high to low. Now, remember, we wanna go from high to low to really increase the activation in our lower chest. Now, watch this. We can do one, we're pressing and we're adducting a little bit more. So, instead of just going here, Watch what I'm doing. I'm going left over right, I'm going right over left. I'm alternating my reps, left over right, and right over left. So this right here feels really great. Really hitting those lower chest muscle fibers. Going with the direction of those lower chest muscle fibers, high to low. So that's the one right there. Palms facing backwards. Boom. Now, the other one is Another great one. So really just whatever one you feel the most activation with, just go with. This one is a little bit of an exaggerated lean forward. Uh, your hands are going to be facing each other, like parallel grip, palms facing each other. Exaggerated lean in. And you're going to really lean down. And we're not adducting all the way through. Like you're not going left over right, right over left. We're just going... Nice, slow reps, squeeze, high to low. 
Now, if you want to feel the most amount of activation on this, really get the most benefit, get the most gains from this exercise, I definitely recommend you go a T30 or a T45 set, which means you're going 30 or 45 seconds time under tension. So don't even worry about cutting your reps, just go continuous time under tension. It's gonna light up that lower chest. The third lower chest exercise, I wanna give you guys a few options because, for example, I'm in uh, the gym where I live right now, and they don't even have a decline bench. Now obviously decline bench is going to be a good exercise, so watch this. This is how you know if you're working your lower chest or not. This is an incline bench, so watch this. If I get up from an incline bench position, my hands, my arms are at an angle on an incline. Now if I got up from a flat bench position, my arms would be like this. If I got up from a decline bench position, my hands would be like this, going with the downward angle of those lower chest muscle fibers. Now, if you don't have a decline bench, the next best option would be a decline press machine. So they have one of these at Gold's Gym Venice. I did this with Charles on uh, Friday, two days ago. And this is just a phenomenal exercise because you can really go slow on the way back down. So going slow on the eccentric portion of these lifts on a machine is really going to break down more muscle fibers. Remember, you make more gains actually emphasizing the eccentric portion. So I really like the uh, decline press machine. Um, if you guys don't have access to a decline bench or a decline press machine, let me show you guys a cool option over here. What you can do with this, once again, we're pressing from a high to low position. So you can actually take this uh, like assisted pull up, assisted dip machine, and you can lean over it right here. You keep your elbows in and you're pressing straight down. So if you guys don't have a decline bench, you can't do decline barbell bench, you can't do decline dumbbell bench, you can't do a decline pressing machine. If you have this machine right here, this is a great alternative. So this allows you to go fairly heavy. It also allows you to really control the eccentric portion of the rep. So it's obviously on a machine. And I really like doing slow eccentrics. I always like picking one exercise where I'm slowing down the eccentric portion. And I recommend you go eight to 10 reps, nice and heavy, going slow on the way down on the third lower chest exercise. So to summarize, if you wanted to do just an insane lower chest workout utilizing the balloon method, you could put all three of these movements into the same workout. You start off with weighted dips going nice and heavy, eight to 10 rep range. Then you'd go some high to low cable flies going 30 or 45 seconds time under tension. And then I would do a mirror rep drop set doing some type of decline press eight to 10 rep range, drop the weight 30%, do another eight to 10 reps, really emphasizing the slow and eccentric portion of the rep, and you will maximize the three scientific ways that your body builds muscle, really targeting that lower chest. And if you want the fastest body transformation possible, just like Garrett, who built muscle and burned fat at the same time on the Action Figure program, all you have to do is tap the link down in the description, take the free 60 second physique quiz, and it will pair you with the perfect balloon method workout program for your body type and your exact goal. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you wanna stay on YouTube, I highly recommend you check out the Balloon Method chest workout using dumbbells only. That's gonna hit every single section of your chest. That is an incredible workout. And if you missed my last video, I will link it right over here, the Balloon Method bicep workout. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys on the next video on Wednesday. You ain't got no games. You ain't lift no weights.